I think what's particularly special about the Luberon is that all of the vineyards are within the Luberon Regional Nature Park, so it's a protected area, uh, so very unspoilt terroir. Um, the wines have a particular freshness and drinkability within the context of the Rhone, and, um, and part of this is due to the difference in day and night temperature, which is quite marked for, for the Rhone, which gives um, the, the reds and the rosés a particular sense of freshness. And the white wines for me um, are, are markedly different from the, from the white wines of the rest of the Rhone, so they have a particular character all of their own. A lot of this is down to Vermentino, which is used quite a lot here, um, which is something that we're going to see in a couple of the wines that we taste coming up. And there is still a lot of great value to be found in the Luberon. Um, very few of the wines are very expensive, but um, I, I've personally found wines that are good value right from the cheapest wines up to those which are more expensive. Uh, so firstly, just to position ourselves. So uh, this is the Southern Rhone you can see within the red circle. So we're down in the Luberon, if you look at the red arrow. So we're in the southeast of the Rhone. So quite far away from the Rhone River itself. And there are a couple of other rivers which are more important um, when it comes to the terroir, which we'll look at in just a second. It's a very beautiful place. Um, it's, it gets a lot of tourist activity every year. Um, it's very warm, very sunny, but it looks stunning. So visually, it's a very, uh, very arresting place, partly due to the Montagne de Luberon, so the kind of high massif uh, which runs from west to east through the center of the Appalachian. Um, ancient history of winemaking, vines brought by the Greeks, viticulture developed by the Romans, but really it's been since 1980, since 1981 really, with Chateau La Verrerie, that private domains have started popping up. Uh, and there are more and more all the time, they come in kind of successive waves, and now there are about 60 private domains uh, within the Luberon. 